Even on a rainy day, Labor Day means many things to many people, but we couldn't help but notice what's happening here. A Labor Day parade in Uptown Charlotte is happening in a labor crunch. It's something that even those who marched have been seeing. We are seeing staffing issues, especially at UPS, hard to uh, maintain the workers. Union members marching say they know why it's happening. The job market is more of a place where workers are calling more of the shots. So the workers need that stability in their lives so that they can have a better, um, stable lifestyle. But that still means there are jobs out there that people need to fill that are having a really tough time doing so. The uh, food and hospitality sector, you know, has had the, you know, has really had a wild ride in terms of recovery and is still recovering. Dr. Matthew Metzger is an economics professor at UNC Charlotte. He says different job fields are recovering at different rates. Some are doing well, but service industry jobs here in Charlotte and elsewhere are taking a punch. Charlotte at least has the benefit of it's been a growing city and been doing well economically. So some of that's taken a little bit off the edge that some other areas have fared worse. In Charlotte, a living wage for a family of two is well above $25 an hour. So $13 an hour is just not going to cut it. 15 is not going to cut it. 18 doesn't cut it. Mesker says that's translating to many jobs in Charlotte these days. More places are paying more and offering incentives. But for it to trickle down, it could take years before that happens or before there's any recovery. Listening to the workers, you know, what are they unhappy about? Is there anything you could do. Sometimes you can't. But whether or not that will stay or improve for all jobs, still a big question. In Charlotte, Derek Dellinger, Queen City News.